hi guys it has been forever since i made a video so i am here to make a video before i go to tour this cosmetology school paul mitchell so i'm really really excited and they told me that i have to have like hair i have to have my makeup done so i'm gonna do a video and then i'm gonna try to vlog like on my way up there and then once i get to the school i'm gonna try to vlog and show you guys everything and let y'all know what's going on like the tuition and everything about the school so i'm really excited about it um they told me to have to wear all black so it, it can kind of be like a get ready with me video but you know it's, i'm just gonna wear all black so i don't know if that's gonna be too interesting so first let's get started with this jeremy scott palette i already taped my eyes and I already put on some concealer. I already did my brows. If you guys need a brow tutorial, um, I will link it below. So we're going to start off with this Jeremy Scott palette. And this brush is the e.l.f. concealer brush. And I'm going to go in with this orange color at the bottom. They do have names on the back, but I'm not about to get into that. Like, it's the only one palette and the only orange in the palette. So it's not rocket science to find out what color it is. Okay, so I'm just going to go into the inner corner and put that orange. All right. Okay, next I am going to go in with this pink. This is Makeup Forever's pink. This is the, um, I forgot exactly what they call them. The, um, like they have a little magnet on the back, like a, a filler. I'm not exactly sure, but it goes in a palette like when you make your own palette. This color is M853, and I am going to go in with a Sony Kashuk brush, and I'm just going to put that right. Um, I'm going to go on top of the orange just to kind of blend it, and then move that to the middle. Just We're just going to have that in the middle. And we're going to pat it on top of the orange just to blend it out. Just so we don't have any harsh lines. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with Max Zinc Blue. And I'm going to go in with Sephora's... Um, this is a Pro Shader brush. It doesn't have a number. It just says um, Pro Shader on it. So I'm going to put that at the outer corner of the eye. Y'all, like, ugh, let me tell y'all. Yesterday, I tried to do a makeup tutorial three times, okay? Woke up, did a makeup tutorial, and I don't know if the eyeshadow was just causing my eye to water but it kept watering took a nap for like two hours woke back up went at it again it did the same thing y'all so today you know my eye is not really watering as bad as it was yesterday so i'm just thinking it was the eyeshadow that was making my eye water i do have really watery eyes so it gets on my nerves a lot So, we're just going to pop that at the end. And we're going to go in with the pink and put it on top of the, the line so we can um, blend it. So it won't be so harsh. So the lines won't be so harsh. So now I'm just going to go in with a clean um, blending brush. This is a Japanese 725 brush. And I'm just going to blend in. Just going to go back and forth. And just kind of tap in on it to blend it in. Blend in the purple, uh, the blue and the pink. Are you? 
so now I'm gonna go in with Maybelline's Ultra Liner. This is a waterproof liner, so they say. And I'm really liking it, but I don't know if I've just been putting on too much or whatever the deal is, but it kind of like peels off whenever I'm ready to take it off. So I think I've been putting on too much. So um, put the tape on your eye. And we're just going to draw a line. Make sure you get as close to your lash line as possible. Because I don't really want thick liner. Okay, so while my lashes are... The glue's drying on my lashes. I'm going to go in with uh, Tarte Shape Tape. My color is Deep Honey. I'm not really... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this color. Sometimes I feel like it's too orange. But we're going to see the day. Y'all, I'm so excited to go. The only thing is, like, it's an hour away from my house. But it's going to be on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And they said it's um like from 10 to 7.30 at night. That is long. That's going to be all day. But I am excited about it. So I'm going to let you guys see everything. Sometimes I get a little... Um... I get scared to like fume and stuff. I, I'm shy. Like, I'm not really. What the hell was I about to say? I don't know. But uh, I'll be back. Let me blend this makeup out. Okay, so now I am going to go in. The lashes I got was from a beauty supply store, guys. So. I doubt y'all will be able to find it. It's just mink lashes. They were like two for five dollars. So I'm gonna go in with this Too Faced, um, the Bronze and the Beautiful palette. All I use to um, contour. So I'm just gonna go in and contour my nose. My cheeks. I'm gonna go in with this um, powdered sun highlight and put it on my nose. I didn't um, put any concealer on under my eyes, so I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty and just put some concealer on. And then I'm gonna set it with the um, Laura Mercier setting powder. And then I'll be back. For under eye and lips okay so under my eyes i am going to use the sephora's waterproof um liner it doesn't have a color oh, okay the color is romantic comedy and i'm just going to put that under my eye for the lips i am going to use chestnut by mac lip pencil and just line my lips And I'm going to go in with Max Nicki Minaj collection. This is the Nicki's Nude. And I'm just going to put that in the center of my lips.
y'all if y'all have any recommendations like for watery eyes please let me know because i don't know if it's allergies or not i never really suffer from allergies <laughs> like i never really had allergy problems so i don't know if it's allergies but okay so this is the finished look so now i am going to get ready i'm gonna go find something black um not sure if it's gonna be too interesting but i will show you what i'm wearing and then we are going to head out i'm gonna go get something to eat and then head to new orleans okay so i just wiped my mirror off and it's still looking kind of crazy but i got this jacket kind of shirt thing from h&m these just some regular black pants and these little ballet, ballerina slippers came from Walmart. So just all black, something simple. And I am about to head out. Okay, so the GPS is saying that we are going to get there at 2.46. So we're going to get there a little bit early, which is good. I need to practice on being early, guys. Okay, so I am going to spray on some perfume because y'all, it is always important to smell good. First impressions are everything, so. Okay, I'm about to go in and I'm gonna try to do a video, so. Okay, y'all, so I had like a really good time. Like the girl was very informative and she knew her shit and she was just so pretty and she really knew what she was doing. So I'm really excited. I still have to see, you know, exactly what schedule I want because, you know, it could be five days, but I highly doubt that I'm gonna do five days because it's just like uh, driving like 45 minutes to an hour is just way too far. So. Yeah, I'll probably do the three days a week, so I will go home, edit this video, and then I'm going to talk to you guys some more once I get home. Kid in the candy store, dig it out here. So, let me find my favorite perfume. Okay, this right here is my favorite perfume ever. Y'all, I swear, this smells so good. It's my favorite. I'm gonna pick up some more. I ran out. Hey guys, I'm back. So, in the packet that she gave us, um, this is the little box that it came, not box, this is the little bag that she gave us. And it's just telling us the date that I want to get started. That's the next class. So, I put July 30th of 18. So, I needed um, your license, social security card, high school, transcript, a $50 application fee. You need a photo and you need a career plan essay. So that's what you need whenever you first go. And then you have to um, answer this. So they, they email you this. So they already emailed it to me and it's asking you, like, what are the commitments you feel are required to become a successful student and professional in cosmetology? Um, you have to answer those questions. Like, you can either write an essay or you can do a video. And I chose to do a video just because... I can do it. I mean, I'm doing YouTube. I, I feel comfortable talking in front of a camera. So that's why I chose to do the video. So 
Here is the most important thing to me. It was the um, financial aid. So you can do for uh, FAFSA or FAFSA, however the hell you say it. But um, you can do that. So in the video that I showed you guys where I was sitting in the room and a girl was talking. So that's everything that came in the toolkit. So they said it was like $2,500. It's worth $2,500, the um, toolkit that they give you. And it had all kind of good stuff like a Paul Mitchell flat iron, two pair of Paul Mitchell scissors. So it really had some good shit in there. So um, makeup, brushes, it had all kind of stuff in there. So this would be the tuition, $19,000. That would be how much it would be um, for it. And I totally, I really think that it's worth it, honestly, because it's a really good school. I mean, they have, they made a big name for themselves. So it's a really good school. So I'm going to, I'm going to apply for financial aid for that. And yeah, so that's what I plan on doing. And this is all kind of other stuff. She gave me like a thank you card that says, uh, thank you for visiting us today. Hope you enjoyed your tour. Be beautiful, Kelsey. And they also uh, gave us like a sample of Paul Mitchell shampoo and conditioner. Also, okay, so enough about that. So this is what I got from makeup forever when i went to the store so this is my favorite perfume of all time y'all i love this perfume i had it already my boyfriend had bought me some and i used it all so i just had to buy some more because i just love it so yeah this is a refillable makeup system whenever i was talking on the video earlier i was trying to think about what this was so it, it is the refillable um the uh, pink that I used was one of these. So it goes into this where you can make your own palette. So I did um, get two more colors for that. So I got this orange. It looks red, but it's an orange color. It's really pretty. And I got some, I had some points. I had like 400 points. So I got this little sample of Versace perfume. So yeah, that is it. Guys, let me know if y'all enjoyed this. Let me know if y'all want to see more vlogs. And let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. And as always, thanks for watching.